that's stage one. That's stage one. That's good. What in the hell is that? If Freddy goes through right now, like that, he can't see me. And then I'll have enough, like, separation between them, because Freddy will- ah! Okay, there he is. Jesus. Okay. No way this actually works. I figured it out. <laughs> well, looks like we're back in hell. Quite literally, this is like hell for this family. And hello everyone, this is Aspect here, and welcome back to the Joy of Creation story mode. Now, if you have not seen the first episode, the first of all, what are you even doing here? You should go back right now and watch the first episode. It should be right up there where the E button is. Tap that eye and you can go watch the first episode. And please do, because if you don't, you are going to miss a lot of lore and you will not understand anything happening in this video. So in the last one, we actually beat the bedroom. As you can see, it says remembered. This time, we're going into the living room, which is still forgotten because I haven't beaten it yet. I'm really curious to see how this is gonna look like. So far, what I've gathered is this is still similar to Five Nights at Freddy's, but... Jesus. But it kind of, like, plays in on it a little bit. It kind of, like, expands the... Do you really think it was a good idea letting him stay? Kind of, like, expands it a little bit. Well, it's not like he was in any condition to do anything. Right? Did you see his clothes? <laughs> it's like he came out of a bonfire. Bonfire? I mean, I could have... <sighs> You know, called an ambulance, maybe dropped him off near a hospital would have been better. I, I just don't think I'd feel comfortable with a complete stranger just ending up sleeping in our house is all. Yeah, true. Oh, Especially God. one whose God. fucking skin is see-through. You worried about the kids? Of course I'm worried about the kids. He's sleeping right next to them. How can I not be? What if he's faking, Val? We could well, stay here to make sure nothing happens, if you're that worried. All night? Got some yeah, of my lip. course, all night. Come on, don't you want to spend time with me more? You are done updating your site for the anniversary. How about we just sit here in the living room and watch some TV while we keep an eye on the kids? Oh! I mean, uh, sure, I guess. My life just yeah, dropped. I guess we could do that. I, I just gotta go make sure one more time nothing's wrong, alright? I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, I'll just stay right here. But don't take too long. I know what's going on here. <laughs> you worry too much. <gasps> what, uh, what was that? Okay, uh, yeah, that's weird at the end. I mean, honestly, that could just be like a power outage. You don't know. This is probably like somewhere in the middle of a fucking forest in America. There is power outages all the time there. As if I would know. WESD to move, space to stand up or sit down, left click to interact with objects. Wait, we got free room up in this? Hold on a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, hello? Is someone there? Whoa! If anyone can hear me, please respond immediately. Hey! Who is it? What in God's name is going on here? A lot. A oh, lot. Um, it's me, Michael. Um, look, there's no time to explain. Just know that you are in grave danger. Is Scott there with you? Nope. My husband? Scott, as I said. No, he isn't. He, he just went to... What do you mean I'm in danger? I need to explain a lot of stuff when she's done talking. Uh, Ma'am, I am very, very sorry. This is all my fault. Right. Just stay calm. I'll try to help you through this. Just please listen to me very carefully. What, what the fuck? Listen, there are monsters that are going to arrive to your room real soon. Oh, great. If they see you, you are dead. I can't. Do you understand that, man? I can't see it's shit. It's very important that whatever occurs, just don't let them see you. Okay. All right? I can't crouch. I... I... I know, I know. Look, just... You're in the living room, right? Yeah. Try to focus on the three entrances behind you. The okay. Exit of the house should be locked, and they won't come through there. Okay. If there are any monitors nearby, then they should be forced to produce a camera system for you. Oh. Ma'am, is the TV in your living room turned on? Uh, yes, but it's filled with static. Yep. Uh, all right. Uh, please keep an eye on. What it the? Should help you. Look, they usually come from either the left side or the right side. What was that? Nothing to stop them. So if you see one of them about to enter the room, if one of them like pops hide. up here, I'm quitting the game. Hide. By the way. Hide where? Just, look, look, just stay out of sight, okay? What? Yes, what? if they try to come in, just move somewhere, they won't be able to see you, okay? Well, I don't know which one will come from which side, but if you look at the TV, you might be able to tell by yourselves. 
Okay. Uh, maybe if you can, try to see if you can look through the doors too. Uh, windows, uh, keyholes? Yes, uh, keyholes! If any of your doors has a keyhole you can peek through, keep checking. This is the only one that I can check. notice you on the other side. Trust okay. This is the only so one yes, with the keyhole. I can't stress this the side doors don't have a Anything keyhole. Comes through those doors, hide. Just hide away from people. With the dark corners work? Hear noises later on in the night. Pay attention to those. Don't look at anything that appears in your room and try to stay safe. Please. Don't look at anything that appears Do in I your room. Do I have to stay here all night? What about my children? What about my husband? That's a good point. Well, it's very hard to explain, ma'am, and no, just wait until 6 a.m. to be safe. But, but don't worry, the time will pass much faster. Just keep an eye Why? on the and wait for that time. They should all be gone in a few minutes. So that's not and natural time? Reset. What? Now, please, if you survive, I need you to grab your kids and get out of this house as soon as possible. So it literally is a lucid I'm dream. I'm Scott get out of here myself. Don't worry, just please get yourself and your sons out of harm's way. All right. I... I don't understand what is even happening. How do you know all of this stuff? Wait, wait a second. How do you know my husband's name? I was there when he found you, Michael. He never said his name. How do you know? That's true. Michael? I didn't even realize that. That's completely true. How the hell does Michael know who Scott is? I mean, obviously, you know, because he's the purple guy and whatnot, at least in Ganon Five Nights at Freddy's. I don't know, like, how much has changed up here. Okay, so. First of all, let me just pause this for a second because there is so much that I forgot to explain that I still remember from last episode that I completely forgot to talk about. Everything that we know about this lore so far is that number one, Michael is 100% the purple guy because that, that, that's what that is, right? That's what we found out in Sister Location is that there's two purple guys. There's that, uh, like, Mr. Afton dude, and then there's Michael Afton that we did know about. This is definitely Michael Afton, which would explain why in the first cutscene his skin was see-through because purple guy, at least from what I've been told, I don't know why this is the case, but apparently he's like hollow inside or something? That's what I've been told, at least. Supposedly that's like confirmed by the books or something like that, I don't remember. The second thing, uh, in that cutscene we just watched, the wife said something about updating his site for the anniversary, so this husband, the husband of this woman we're playing as, is Scott Cawthon, which is interesting, and the child we were playing as in the previous level, who Michael referred to as Nick, I think that's their son, Nick. And that's probably a reference to the creator of this game, Nixon, who put himself as a character into the game, which I think is hilarious. Because that means that Nixon sees himself as Scott Cawthon's son, which, considering the praise this game has gotten, I kind of agree with. But anyway, let's keep playing. So... What the hell was that? I thought I heard something. So I can only look through this keyhole, but there's absolutely nothing there. I can also look on the TV, and it says, oh! Hey man, wait a minute. If those are identical hallways, they're gonna barge through the room at the exact same time. What the hell do I do about that? Because there's nowhere to hide. I cannot go through any doors. I can't, like, this, this is this is not a place to hide, right? Like, I'm, 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 I'm spamming E, F, both the buttons. Is light switch? No. There's absolutely nothing working. What the hell do I do here? You can't hide anywhere here. Can I can I crouch? I uh, no, I can't crouch. I already tried that. What the hell do I do? Here? Oh my god. Oh my god, they're close. Okay, wait. Freddy Freddy's a little bit closer. Which is uh uh uh, uh this door. Okay. Let me just do this. Oh that's not good! <laughs> My volume was a little bit too high. Use the environment to your advantage, hide in places where your enemies won't see you. Well, that's what I fucking did, is it not? You stupid shit. You know what? I don't give a damn. I'm bringing my hair up front. My hair is gonna be over my shoulders like it normally is. It's a bit like curled up and shit today because I haven't showered yet today. But you know what? That's absolutely fine and I don't care about that. So... What the hell do I do about these guys? Okay, they've not even, like, spawned. Oh, there they are. Hello. So they spawn in at the exact same time. What the hell am I supposed to do here? Maybe one of them moves faster than the other? Maybe looking at them actually slows them down. Because I think that was the thing in some of the previous games where if you stared at the animatronics, they couldn't move. Like, you, you had to not look at them for them to move or something like that. I think that was the case. So let's see. So he's walking past the shelves. No, that literally does absolutely nothing. There is also this big, like... There's this, like, big pause thing, but I don't know what that does. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
What the? Each animatronic always goes through a specific door. Try to identify and remember where they come from. I think that pause button has something to do with it. So this pause button actually does something. I didn't realize that, like, you can actually press it at first. I thought it was just kind of like, you know, like, a way to pause the game itself. Like a cool interaction thing, but that's actually a mechanic. So if I hold this, does this pause both of them or only one? Because if this pause is only boxy right now... What I can do is I can separate them and then hide behind each door. Maybe that's actually what I'm supposed to do, because if that's not what I'm supposed to do, I'm looking up how this works. Yes! Yes, that's exactly what you do. So now they're separated. I'm going to pause Foxy a bit more. They're separated right now, which means that... For, okay, Freddy's going to come through my right. I need to remember that. Okay, he stopped. I'm going to pause Foxy a little bit more. There we go. So Freddy's approaching the door. Uh, I'm going to pause this one just a tiny bit more. Okay, yeah, now go. So, Freddy always came from this door, so this is where I'm gonna stick around. I wanna- I wanna see if this works. If Freddy goes through right now, like that, he can't see me. He cannot see me. Oh my god. Oh! I got scared so hard, I accidentally hit my fucking stream deck. Holy fuck, that gave me a- Fucking heart attack. So I have to wait until he actually shuts the door for him to go. Because that was stupid. That was like just straight up stupid. I should have just waited longer. I got impatient and that's what killed me. I also still don't know what's gonna be here. I'm assuming like Bonnie or Chica. I'm 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 gonna go with Chica because I feel like that's a bit more apparent. And then I feel like Bonnie is good. What do I feel like Bonnie's gonna be at this door right here? So let's see. Okay, yeah, so here they are. So, I need to pause Foxy enough for Freddy to be able to advance far enough so that I can then actually hide from both of them at, like, different times. Also, I love the layout that he made for this camera system. I love that there's, like, an actual ISO button, which, if you guys don't know, is an actual thing that, uh, DSLR cameras have. ISO is basically how bright the picture is. And as someone that, like, studies film, that's a really cool detail to see. I'm pretty sure that F in the corner where the pause button keeps blinking, I think that stands for shutter time as well, which is just a really cool detail. So, Freddy's gonna come by Barging through. Now, this time I'm not gonna touch anything until he's completely gone. Okay, so he's just checking everything out. Keep, keep looking, keep looking, keep looking. Okay. Okay, door shuts. We we'll go over here. And if I did this right, Foxy should come barging through in a second. And then I'll have enough, like, separation between them because Freddy will. Ah! Okay, there he is. Jesus. Okay. No way this actually works. I figured it out. Okay, what's over here? Nothing. I don't know what's over there. I don't know what that's for. I also like the conveniently placed mug right there. That's kind of cool. But like, it makes perfect sense you cannot see the minutes just because there's a mug there. It's cheesy, but it makes perfect sense, and I love it. I'm gonna lower myself. What the hell was that? Okay. Uh, crap, 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 crap. He's coming at the door. I'm gonna pause him a little bit. What the hell was that? Good evening. Oh, there's eyes there! Move, 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 move. Okay, so, mm, that's probably Bonnie, actually. Hello, motherfucker. Please tell me the, the separation circle is now, like, good, and I don't have to touch that anymore. Because that would be fantastic. I might have to pause Freddy a bit more, because I have to wait a lot before Foxy comes in. Yeah, so there he is. I would kind of like them to be back-to-back, -back, where, like, I, I, I move away from Freddy, I go right over to Foxy. But then maybe it's better if I don't do that. Oh my god, he's right there. Holy hell. Um, what do I do about that? See, I don't know... I don't know how many phases Bonnie has, so I don't know, like... What is gonna come charging through, if you know what I mean? Oh, what was that? Okay! Yep, now I've finally cocked myself. Because Freddy can come busting through at any minute. I need to, like, stand over- <laughs> oh, oh, fuck! So Bonnie was first, okay. Bonnie doesn't have his own camera and can be paused. Look into the keyhole and always listen for any noise he makes. Yeah, so that noise that you heard, that like, woo noise, that's him moving further ahead. Why am I getting notifications on my phone? Okay, so I don't really know how to time this, so... I think the best way to do it is probably timing it so that after Freddy charges, I go straight over to Foxy, and Foxy charges right away, because that would give me more breathing room in between the two, so that I have more time to frequently check up on Bonnie. I think that's the best way to do it. So if I pause Foxy, I need to pause him a little less, because I'm pausing him too much. So I think this should be a, 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 a very, very fair distance, so let's go hide. Let's just test this out. Alright, so there's Freddy. Okay, do your thing. 
Ooh, 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 this is taking a while. Okay. Wait, yep, 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 straight over to Foxy. How much time do I have? That's quite a lot of time. That's actually a bit too much time. There he is. So I need to pause Freddy a little bit more. Just a little bit. Okay, I need to check up on Bonnie, because Bonnie advances soon as shit. Bonnie doesn't give a single fuck. I also still don't know why I'm like tapping into their freaking cerebral cortex or whatever that. Okay, there's Bonnie. Now, this timing, I don't know how, like, how would you ration this? Because you have to keep the distance between Freddy and uh, Foxy, but then you also need, oh shit, wait a minute. I might, I might've just cut myself. Where's Freddy? Okay. Um, he just stopped. I'm gonna pause Foxy a little bit. Okay. We, we should be okay right now. Okay. Bonnie says, okay, so Bonnie's at his like second stage right now. Okay, 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 okay. Go right ahead, go right ahead. Do your thing. Okay, 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 okay. Move over to Bonnie. Uh, Foxy, I mean, sorry. There he is. Okay, that's perfect distance. This is perfect. I don't have to touch this anymore. Maybe like one tap of Oh shit. Wait a minute. What 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 stages? Okay, one more stage. One more stage. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Okay. So just wait over here until uh Thingy Bobus does his thing. Uh Bonnie. Yup, 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 yup. Oh please! Come on, come on, come on. Okay. I should still have enough time between Freddy and Foxy. Just please do not tell me that them resetting like a kickaboo. Oh no, you're joking me. I have to redo it each time. So every single time they charge, I need to keep pausing them. I can't just like do it once and let it run. God, that's so annoying. Okay, so that door shuts, move over here, and Foxy should- yeah! Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so apparently now, now that they've both reset, I need to actually pause Foxy again, because otherwise they like fuck up. And I think that's because I'm pausing Foxy and not Freddy, so it might actually be better to pause Freddy, because it looks like sometimes Freddy randomly stops for no reason at all. And I don't, yeah, look, like Freddy just stopped dead in his tracks again for no fucking reason. I might start running into problems with Bonnie's charges and uh, Freddy actually checking out the room. If they like double team me, then I don't really know what to do about that. Because if I pause Freddy, I mess up my alignment. Okay, that's stage one. That's stage one, that's good. What in the hell is that? What happened? What the hell even happened? I, I I can't play the game. What do I do? Am I am I am I stunned? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay. Well, I'm dead. Hey. What the hell even happened? Stage two. The hell? Wait a minute, did someone just knock on the door? Like, that door right there. I, I think they did. Also, Bonnie's at stage 2, uh, by the way, just to kind of keep you guys updating. Because this, this is probably me cutting back in. Stage 3, I just heard. This is probably me cutting right back in after the, uh, the fail. Okay, so I need to pause Foxy right now. The moment he's spawned in. And the moment I hear the Bonnie noise, I need to book it. Because I do think there is a timer on Bonnie's noise. And I think I'm getting it down just right every single time. Yup, 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 yup. I don't think that's enough time, but I'm gonna check. Okay. Okay. Forfeit, forfeit, forfeit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, that's that that's plenty actually. That's plenty plenty of distance. That that should be good enough. I'm gonna just wait here. I'm just gonna use this as a test run because I think I think I got this down perfectly. So you're gonna do your thing. You're gonna go away. I'm gonna run over. Yup, 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 go over here. Yes! Okay, this works. Because every single time I'm really nervous about, like, the distance between these two. This is actually a bit too much distance between Freddy's charge and Foxy's charge. That's a bit too much distance. That sounds to my... Oh! I avoided it! 
So that is Chica, and she's spawning. Okay, Bonnie stage two. She's spawning at either your right or your left. That's good to know. Okay, yeah, so he is at stage two. I'm just gonna stand over here. Whoa, that was a bit too close for comfort, buddy. I haven't heard of stage three yet, so we should be okay. Shit, that's stage three. Fuck. Foxy, yep, go away right now. Boss Foxy, listen for Bonnie very, very closely. What in the hell is that? Yup, 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 yup. Move. Okay. I need to pause Foxy more. I haven't paused him at all. What I'm really worried about is that I'm gonna get double stacked by Freddy and Bonnie. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that's stage one. This is actually kind of bad. What in the hell? Stop. Because if I get stage four by Bonnie while Freddy's doing his inspection, then I'm kind of fucked there, aren't I? Oh my god, how of how often do you fucking appear, you son of a bitch? Oh shit, wait a minute. Okay, leave, shut the door. Yup, go, 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 go. Okay, Foxy, do your thing. Quickly, please. Yup, I haven't heard of stage three yet. So oh, there, never fucking mind. I need to wash my mouth, apparently. Is that stage three? I need to double check. Yes, that is stage three. Okay, stage four is when he, like, peeks with his little red eye into the fucking keyhole. So the moment I hear stage four, I need to just book it. I'm gonna keep pausing Foxy for now, just so there's already some distance between them. What in the fuck? Oh, shit. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Go, 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 Stage four. Okay, do your thing. Go right ahead. Come in. Wipe your feet. Yup, this is good. This is really good. We're at 4 a.m. This is the furthest we've gotten. Shut the door. What the? What the hell? What the hell? Why am I blinking? What the hell just happened? Oh no. Oh, it's the same shit again as last time. Oh, fuck me. Okay, please tell me I can... I, okay, I need to listen really closely for fucking Bonnie right now. Oh, ch shut up, Chica. Just go away. I know that that's you. Okay, stage one. Stage one right now for Bonnie. Stage one. They're going faster as well, I think. They're going faster each time, aren't they? Oh my god, they are. Oh my god, they are. Holy crap. Holy hell, he is right there. That is quick. Holy moly, you're fast. I might not even have enough distance between these two. That's a stage two? I believe. I, I, okay, I need to I need to double check the stage. I think, I think Bonnie's on two right now. I think. Oh, this is not good. There's so much time in between Freddy and Foxy that time. Shut the door. Or stage. Okay, two. Look at how fast he is. He is zooming. This dude. Holy shit, fuck off! That's, I think, the. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. Yes! 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 There's no way I stretched that! Oh, let's fucking go! That could have been so much worse. I think I miscounted Bonnie stages. I think that was stage four that I just heard. I mean, I guess we'll never know, but s s someone count that. Uh, increased paranormal sightings near the countryside sparks. Interest for a full investigation, page 12. I don't know what any of that means, and I don't really care, honestly. Holy hell, we just need that. Okay, so we've now done the bedroom, we've done the living room, and next up we have the office, which is interesting because obviously the office is kind of where Five Nights at Freddy's takes place, so if this one is gonna be free room just like the living room, which I think it is, because I think I remember seeing gameplay of that. This is gonna be very interesting next episode, but for now, I am done. That was really fucking cool though. However, I will say it was really fucking difficult. Someone in the comments of the previous episode actually even said that there is a fair amount of RNG involved in this one. And I don't really know where the RNG comes into play. I don't know if I if I got like super lucky with it. I'm assuming they mean RNG in the, in the sense of that they think that Bonnie's charges are RNG, but I think Bonnie's actually time. I'm not entirely sure, but you guys can figure that out for yourself. Either way, I do hope that you guys did enjoy this episode. And if you did, please be sure to pop the like button, like a comment, subscribe down below to join the sarcastics, and hopefully see you next time. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track Keep my head up, staying strong, always moving on Feel I don't belong